Good morning, everyone. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm Mark Well. And I'm Melissa Paldo. Welcome to WMBD This Morning. We start in the Twin Cities this morning where an employee at McDonald's is fired after making a controversial statement. A state trooper went through the drive through Monday at Normal's North Main Street location. She was confronted by an employee who used an expletive saying, F the police. The McDonald owners heard about the situation and swiftly fired the employee. We were appalled and uh, we wanted to make take swift and immediate action, and we did. Petro says he and McDonald's support the men and women in blue and believe what the employee said is unacceptable. We're continuing our coverage on a Richwoods High School teacher who was arrested and booked on criminal sexual assault charges Monday. Philip Earhart has been released from the Peoria County Jail. WMBD received a police report last week that references a relationship between Earhart and a student. But at this point, few details have been released. State's attorney Jerry Brady says the investigation is still ongoing. Earhart has been ordered to appear at the county courthouse on a later date. The Bradley community is mourning the loss of a student this morning. The school says 21-year-old Nicole Barron died Monday. The, the Vermilion County Coroner confirms it's investigating a suicide that shut down Interstate 74 for more than two hours Monday night. Barron spent her free time working with the Bradley Police Department. Now flags will be flown at half staff for the next three days. Students that wish to speak to someone can contact Counseling Services. An increase in parking tickets could be rolling out in Peoria. City Council members are considering a potential $5 increase to tickets. Right now, the department's current handheld devices need to be upgraded, costing nearly $10,000 per device. There is a device that allows tickets to be written on a smartphone and printed on a handheld Bluetooth printer. It would cost a fee of $3 per ticket written, so parking enforcement is proposing the increase so the cost doesn't affect the city's budget. The council plans to discuss the issue further at its next meeting. The woman accusing a former Madigan aide of sexual harassment is speaking out. Accepting that they weren't going to protect me and that I was going to lose everything I worked for because a man could not control himself was devastating. Elena Hampton says when she worked with Kevin Quinn, he sent her a series of inappropriate text messages over the course of several months. She says she told people about the behavior and asked him to stop, but nothing was done. She eventually wrote a letter to House Speaker Michael Madigan's office about the incident, but says his attorney was dismissive. Hampton has now filed a formal complaint to the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission against Madigan's office. Quinn's firing was announced on Monday. New this morning, Senate lawmakers continue talks on immigration reform in Washington. Tuesday, Senate Majority Leader, or excuse me, Minority Leader Chuck Schumer objected to an amendment cracking down on sanctuary cities. Democrats are demanding any immigration solution include protections for nearly 700,000 immigrants brought to the U.S. illegally as children. A new effort in Peoria aims to get more people into the skilled trade workforce. The Dream Center is expanding its after-school program to get teens involved in things like mechanics, carpentry, and electronics. Organizers hope to get younger Peorians involved in paths they could make into careers. They hope those students then pay it forward by helping future generations with apprenticeships. Their faces come alive when they realize that they're making something move or they're, they're making something work that wasn't working. And just seeing their, their faces come alive and realize that they could get a living by doing what they're doing here. Right now, the Dream Center is a third of the way to raising the money needed to complete renovations and make the program a reality. The most exciting part of the school year is underway at Limestone High School. Over the next two weeks, students will compete to see whether the boys or the girls can raise the most money for Easter seals. And their efforts are making the CI proud. Students at Limestone High School are ready to raise money for Easter seals. You are in for the ride of your life in the next two weeks. You're going to have so much fun. They kicked off their Battle of the Sexes campaign Tuesday. Easter Seals families were welcomed to the opening assembly with music, lights, and performances by student groups. Over the past 42 years, the students have raised $880,556. Senior Taylor Thomas has been fundraising for Easter Seals since the seventh grade. 
This spring, she'll receive her high school diploma. As she reaches that important milestone, she hopes to help kids at Easter Seals reach their goals. It truly is a great feeling. I feel like we're doing a big difference and just making a lot of families, just making it easier for a lot of families and doing a lot of good. Those efforts don't go unnoticed by the families who benefit from services at Easter Seals. I'm a high school teacher, so I kind of understand what's what's going on in these kids' lives and for them to give this much and go over and above to get outside of themselves and help a community that, that really, needs, uh, really needs help like these kids is just totally awesome. Limestone's fundraising campaign will wrap up with another assembly on February 27th when students will announce how much money they raised. Our Easter Seals Telethon begins at 6 a.m. on March 2nd. You can donate now by going to EasterSealsCI.com. Uh, you can also call 687-2009. Where's Lauren Rainson? I'm coming, I'm coming. Let's I'm play coming. Where's Lauren Rainson. Yeah, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> here. Hello. There she is. Yeah, I was getting my uh, weather graphics situated over here. No worries. It's so Valentine's Day. I get slowed up yeah. sometimes. You're just talking about love, not the weather. Yeah, yeah. my mind's uh, elsewhere this morning. <laughs> it's kind of slowing me up. What's, uh, what's kind of lifting our spirits, though, I know for me, milder temperatures this mm -hmm. morning 